All right, let's get to my next guest. We're up in New York, New York. I've interviewed this lady on Triple Threat Wrestling Radio in the past, and I'm happy to have her on here. It was Karen Bam Bam, the conductor. Hey, um, How's it going? What's up? Not much. I'm chilling back here. How y'all doing? Uh, we're doing pretty good. Uh, thank you so much for being on this particular show. Great to have you on. Thanks for having me. So, as I told the people, um, I've interviewed you before on Triple Threat Wrestling Radio. Um, that show has ended, and now I have wrestlers on this show, and it's become more variety based now because I'm interviewing literally everybody and anybody on here. So, um, definitely happy to have a former guest from a former show on this show and bring a wrestling audience to this particular podcast and stuff. So, um, catching up with you and everything. Um, how's your 2022 coming along wrestling wise? Oh, coming along good. Um, got some new things in store, some debuts and states lined up to be announced. So, that's yeah. it. It's all about expanding, trying to travel outside of, you know, New England, tri-state area, and get to that next level. Okay, I see that you're from New York. What Which borough of New York are you from? Oh, uh, you know, I'm from the Bronx, New York, so. Boogie Down Bronx. You know, when I come out. Boogie mm-hmm. Down Bronx, I like that. Home on for Fat Joe, Big Pond, rest in peace. Um... Just that's that's a ball right there. That's that's heavy, heavy ball right there for sure, for sure. Um, mm-hmm. so it's far, you know, it's we it's Black History Month, and you know, definitely want to say shout out to all the black men and women that paved the way for the black Absolutely. people of today, obviously. Um, as far as you know, inspirations, people that you looked up to, like. Who inspired you um, as a wrestler? Who stood out to you? Uh, who kind of lit, lit, got you into this business, per se? I mean, a lot of different um, women did. I mean, growing up, I watched Jackie and Jazz, you know, when I was, you know, a kid. And then before I started wrestling, you know, seeing Sasha at NXT, and then as I started wrestling and getting introduced to, you know, different styles of wrestling and watching, like, you know, the Joshi shit with, like, Aja Kong and Awesome Kong stuff and Bo Nakano. So, like, yeah, I have, like, a wide range of, like, um, inspirations. A lot of, you know, folks have paved the way for me and inspired my style. I'm so glad you brought up Kong. Um, who, from my understanding, has officially retired from wrestling as of last year. I think she was at the NWA Empower, which was executive produced by Mickey James, and Kong had a moment with uh, Gail Kim. You know, anybody that watched TNA back in the day, they had classics with each other. Um, you know, the, mm-hmm. the knockouts division was definitely at the high peak um back then just big time performances obviously and you know how would you remember Kong how do you think she should be remembered for her contributions to professional wrestling I mean she stands out so much from what we're used to seeing and you know she was definitely an excellent wrestler all around. Like, you know, someone who had a lot of skill. A lot of times that's not valued in women, but regardless of size and, you know, of, you know, being black, especially in wrestling, because a lot of times black women are, you know, undervalued in wrestling. So for her to have the accomplishments that she did and be as talented as she was and like, be an inspiration to so many women out there, including myself. You know. Yeah, respect the Kong. 
respect to awesome calm amazing calm she's mm -hmm. all of that and then some definitely was nice to see calm get her flowers um at the um, empower show and get the recognition that she truly deserves and she also was inducted into the um impact wrestling hall of fame um a couple months later uh so she, she definitely got all the flowers headed her way for sure um, you know, black women in wrestling always has faced challenges. Um, we're definitely seeing a lot more black women, especially on the indies. I've always felt like the indies woman de definitely doing big things, um, obviously. And then you got Sasha and Bianca main event at WrestleMania last year. Um, from you, from um, from your perspective as a black woman in professional wrestling, how do you feel about the way that black women are being utilized in wrestling these days? You feel like there's there's a a, a lot of good things going, or you think there needs to be more work to be done? I mean, there's always going to be more work to be done, but there is a lot of you know more opportunities coming out especially in the independence and there's a lot more you know black owned companies and i'm happy to be a part of them and see a lot more you know places say like you know let wrestling live is in north carolina and is black woman owned and pro wrestling are uplifts you know a lot of black talents so you know there's a lot of shows out there now on the independence and i feel like that's really important you know, kind of setting that tone. And as far as TV, again, I mean, there's been a lot of discourse and conversation around, you know, what's been going on, especially, you know, the stuff with Swole and, you know, Yanka and Naomi. And, I mean, it's always going to be something. It's to be expected, but, yeah. you know, I love that people are out there, like, you know, creating their own space and kind of being the change they want to see. And, you know, Tay at Black Girl Magic as well. Shout out to her. Yes, the black girl magic. I love that. Um, I definitely been paying attention. You know, on social media. There's some good. There's some bad. You know, it could be a, a savage, obviously. Um, but man, just getting the support, to seeing, you know, some black-owned companies stepping up the way they have. Um, it's it's a beautiful thing to see. And hopefully that will encourage, inspire more people to follow suit. Definitely need to show people that black wrestlers, um, that can draw, that can sell, that can, you know, fill the seats per se. Um, so, yeah, like you said, there's still more work. There's always going to be more work to be done. But to see that there's people out there that's giving Black wrestlers a chance, a legit chance, and that's that's um that's promising. I I would say for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, so to the conductor herself, um, what are some of the shows you have coming up that your fans need to keep an eye on? Well, um. My next appearances will be marching on going as I'm taking it a bit slow, but I will be at ACW on March 5th in New York. Um, I'll be debuting at SGW in um, Connecticut March 19th. Um, March 20th, that should be a Pro Wrestling R. And March 26th, I believe we'll be doing a show at the Palisades Mall at ACW as well. And there's a lot of other things that are to be announced as well. So and recently I um, debuted with WWR and beyond. So that's on Indie Wrestling, IWTV. You can stream the shows from this past Sunday as well and show your support. Definitely show your support. Check out the, um, the upcoming shows. Support these wrestlers. Support these promotions. Um, check them out. A lot of good talent out there. It ain't just what you see on the TV. It's what you see on the indie scene as well. So definitely check out uh, Karen. 
giving her opponents the business. Um, mm -hmm. Conduct these whoopings. She gonna conduct these whoopings. Uh, so she gonna give anyone and anybody the business. That's no, that's no denying that. Um, you can follow Karen on Twitter and Instagram at Karen uh, Brini. Um, that's B R E N E E, and that's literally the same handle: Instagram and Twitter. Uh, go check out both accounts and get her the follow and go buy her merch too. I know you got some merch out there somewhere. Uh, T-shirts and 18s. Go buy the merch as well. Um, so with all these shows you have on the horizon um, and with so much more to come, you know, as we get into the spring, a lot warmer weather because... I say I'm getting sick and tired of these cold weather, the snow and all this icy rolls and stuff. Um, who are some people out there that you would like to go up against in 2022? Who it could be more than one person. Who who's some wrestlers out there you want to go toe to toe with this year? I mean, I really just want to fight everybody, but some people I've mentioned recently is I would love to. Russell Wold, I done called out Darius Carter like a few times. I would love to wrestle Willow. Um, who else? Uh, just basically like anybody that I haven't worked with, I definitely want to wrestle as many people as possible. Now I do love to see you and Willow go at it. I've definitely I've seen Willow. Wrestled before. I seen her at Shimmer a couple years ago. She she's really good. Uh, she's definitely making some noise on the indie scene. She's been on Ring of Honor um, before they went on their hiatus, obviously. But Karen versus Willow will be a hell of a good matchup. I definitely love to see that. Uh, so all you bookers out there, make it happen. You know, they they they're for the same area. It's in tri-state area. You know, you know you you know you want to make that match happen. So, you know, talk to talk to these ladies. Let's make it happen in 2022. I love to see it, even if I can't be there in person. I paid on pay per view. I love to see that match for real, for real. Um, so it's great having you back on the show. Thank you so much for your time. Um. I look forward to seeing more great things from you this year. Um, and, you know, keep doing you. Keep representing for the culture, uh, for black women, and for women of your size just doing great things. Um, I definitely look forward to seeing so much on the horizon for you. Uh, so thank you so much for your support, and thank you for being on this particular show this evening. We appreciate you. All right. Thanks for having me, and good luck with your show. Absolutely. You have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right. You too. All right. Bye-bye.